just going back to when you were at that point, let's say you just had your, you had your two children and you're kind of at the end of your rope. You're trying to figure things out. Um, or let's say you're where your grandmother was, right? And she was in the hospital and she was desperate. You said she was willing to try anything. So if someone's listening to this and they're at that point and, and they're at a point in their life where they're, they're like, I don't feel good. I don't like, I wake up and I don't like um, putting my feet on the ground. I, I just, I don't feel good because they're, they're having these health troubles. What would your, what would your advice be to them? Cause it's, it can be a, a long Rocky ho road ahead of them, even if they have the right information to, to solve these problems like you did or like I did. But what would you say to that person who's at that point uh, and wants to, wants to improve? Yeah. If they're motivated to improve, I would say start with fruit for breakfast. Just start with that. Start one step at a time. I've worked with a lot of people with severe chronic fatigue and they're like, even the vegans, like they're eating vegan sausages and toast for breakfast and they're exhausted and they can't get out of bed in the morning. And I tell them, look, you're fasting all night. You're not eating. You need to eat the most water rich, the most energy fiber rich foods that you can find. And there is nothing better than fruit in the morning. So start with that. Um, I worked with a young woman, 25 year old school teacher. In the middle of the day, she was collapsing. Hmm. She did a Google search because she had found out about raw food and she was curious and she put in raw food and chronic fatigue. And I've done some videos on that. And I popped up on Google and she contacted me and we worked together for two months. And impressive, really impressive what happened to her just starting with fruit for breakfast. She started with fruit for breakfast. Fruit has glucose for energy. And once she went to a lower fat lifestyle, she could really utilize that glucose. She had the energy and it was sustaining her for the full day for mm -hmm. the first time in many years. And this young woman who was like almost giving up on herself, she had thyroid issues. She was getting off the thyroid medication. And the doctor was shocked at what was happening to her because her lab results were looking so much different. And he was actually working with us to hmm. lower her thyroid meds instead of just dropping them completely. She, she was, was titrating going, down. Yes. Mm. And it was just a fantastic two months to watch these changes in such a short period of time. So I think a lot of these people don't realize that eating simply of natural foods is what is going to help them. I always tell people, get out into nature and think about what are foods that you could find in nature before people started doing all this hunting. We would be gatherers. There's a whole book sure. on it, on, on this called Man the Hunted. And hmm. it's all from an anthropology professor, this huge book about how we are not hunter gatherers. We are gatherers for sure. And this is an anthropologist from Washington University. Um, and big book and excellent, excellent information. But when people start adding, just adding and not getting overwhelmed. There's a lot of raw food recipe books out there that are super complicated. Okay. They are so yeah. complicated. You could be making a dehydrated recipe for three days. Okay. It's intimidating. It's very intimidating. And I'm not telling people not to ever do anything dehydrated. You know, once a week, I'll do something dehydrated. It's nice to have a raw burger. But most yes, of the I've time- seen your, I've seen your raw burgers. On, on the, They look uh, very delicious. 
Yeah, they're really, really good. But I want to tell you, Dave, that I do not dehydrate them until they are so dry that they don't have any water content. I eat them kind of moist. Okay. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, I don't dehydrate them like for um, two days. <laughs> so, 